What's good? Y'all know who it is and y'all know what it is. It's your boy Matthew Shaq. And I gotta give this guy, this cat, a motherfucking love clap. I gotta give Giannis Antetokounmpo a love clap because I love the fact that he just signed this $228 million five year extension with the Milwaukee Bucks, man. And here's why. Because, man, you gotta make sure that you secure the bag first, okay? Now, here's the thing about that. Everybody was under the impression, or a lot of folks that I was talking to was under the impression that he was going to leave Milwaukee for a lot of myri myriad of reasons. He was gonna leave Milwaukee because it's a small market. He was gonna leave Milwaukee because he doesn't have uh, a, a, a number two, a solid number two player and all this kind of shit. But here's the thing, man. At the age Giannis Antetokounmpo is right now, okay? Five years on his career, he just became the third player in the history of the National Basketball Association after Michael Jordan and Hakeem Olajuwon to win the NBA MVP and the Defensive Player of the Year at the same time. He's giving his home team an opportunity, like any other player. LeBron did it. As much as LeBron has jumped around, LeBron did the same shit. He's giving his hometown team, who's in a small market, Milwaukee's a small market, an opportunity to build around him, an opportunity to be the first uh, Milwaukee Bucks team to win a championship since 1971 with a cat named Lou Alcindor, a.k.a. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And Oscar Robertson. But he's just signed the biggest contract in the history of the National Basketball Association. And that's the thing, man. Make sure you get your money because when they're done with you, they're done with you. Now, it's not like he went like what a lot of players do. Leave a team that's in the hunt. You know, they're in the hunt. They they played bad in the bubble when it came to playoff time. They didn't even, they didn't even make it out of uh make it to the uh, Eastern Conference Finals, which was funny to me. But He's still young enough to, to recover from that. A lot of things could happen in five years, man. A lot of things. He could be traded later on. He could he could force a trade like what James Harden is trying to do. There's a lot of different things he could do. But he's still young enough where it's not really going to uh, impact his career at this point. All right? Get that hometown check jumped off. Pay me the max. Okay? Secure the bag. Pockets got the mumps and shit. And that's what the hell you do, man, because you don't know what's going to happen, man. A year a year ago, we had no idea that we was going to be in a pandemic and it was going to be this fucked up. No, nobody knew that. Okay? And you don't know what's going to happen. You could have a catastrophic knee injury. You Anything could fucking happen. So, in regards to that, I like seeing Giannis getting his money. The dude was not a guy coming into the NBA that was highly touted. He was not a guy that a lot of people looked at. A lot of people overlooked the man, and he molded himself into a legitimate superstar, okay? And his, his career is at a trajectory right now where he is a potential first ballot Hall of Famer. If he continue going up this road, and if he gets a chip, that's it. That's all she wrote, okay? Milwaukee has a good little team but the problem is they don't got enough dogs on their team he needs a number two he needs a scotty pippen he needs uh uh shit he needs a damn anthony davis he needs somebody to come over there now milwaukee's a small ass market and nobody really is looking at milwaukee as a destination because there's not a whole lot of other things that you could do it's not a lot of ancillary other things like here in la where i'm at where you go to the clippers you got the whole la market second largest market in the united states and other things you got other ancillary things you could do from film, television, commercials, uh, other projects. It's not like being up in the Bay Area where you're going to be with uh, two of the uh, greatest shooters of all time uh, with the Golden State Warriors and get some of that Silicon Valley uh, cheese up there. But in this situation, it's happened before, okay? I like this move. It's going to make the East still because we can't have a lopsided balance of power in the NBA. 
So I'm, I'm happy that this situation has transpired. But at the end of the day, get the bag. If, if something happens later and you have to bolt, bolt out, you have to get traded or you request a trade or you're trying to force your way out, whatever team you go to has to pay you. Okay, and that's the key, man. In this day and age, get your money because the leagues that you play in, they're going to get theirs. All right, man, love all y'all out there. Please continue to keep liking, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We are really doing well, and we about to take this shit to the next level, man. Love y'all. Salute.